Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll show you how you can manage the files of your WordPress website in the dashboard. So let's get to be started. Well friends, in this video training, I'll use this plugin, Filestar, a file manager plugin. And it's by Ninja team, the popular team on WordPress plugin directory. And I selected this plugin because it is easy to use and it offers some good features. So let's get to be started. I'm going to get the plugin name and here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. I'm going to install the plugins. So here I'm on the plugins and click on add new. I'm going to search for the plugin. And here is the plugin. Just click install now button. Click activate. Okay. Here you can see the plugin file star is installed and activated. At the same time, here you will see a new menu, file manager, and it has two sub menus, file manager and settings. Okay, let's start with file manager. Just click on file manager. And here you see the file manager interface. I guess you have used cPanel file manager and it will be almost the same. Here you can see all the folders and here you can see the setting or tool menus and here goes the files and folders under the public directory and on the right here you can see select theme you have just few options to change the theme okay let's start with the first one default and dark slim nowadays the dark theme is a bit popular and you can go to another theme material okay Okay, this one also good, fantastic. And now I'm going to start with the toolbar menus. Here you can see the left arrow. It means you can go backward. I'm going to navigate to this folder. And here you can see this one is active. If I click on it, I can go back. And it's pretty simple. And here goes another option. And you can go forward again. And here you can see a new option. You can go to the parent directory if you click on that and here you can see a new folder if you click on it you will be able to create a new folder i'm going to name it test folder just hit enter okay now here you can see new folder completed okay where is that here it is test folder at the same time you can create a new file and just you can upload a file i'm going to click this here to upload a file select file and i'm going to upload what this one and here it is the file is uploaded successfully and here you can see open you can open that file also the selected file okay here you can see download option i'm going to select this file or image and i'm if i click here then it will be downloaded and make sure you select a file at the same time here you can see the file is selected and here you can see you can copy a file here you can see you can cut a file you can just delete a file copy cut and delete it's easy what you will have to do just i'm going to delete this one just select here and click over here to delete it just a confirmation yes remove it that's fine okay just select any file and here you will see the respective options you can duplicate it Okay, say for example, here it is license.txt. I'm going to click here and here you can see it has been duplicated. At the same time, you can rename this file. Okay, I'm going to select this file and click here to rename it. And here you can see the rename option. I'm going to name it rename. Okay, here it is. And the next option is edit file. That's the main purpose of installing WordPress file manager. Sometimes you need to edit any file of your theme. Now I'm going to show you how you can edit this file. Say for example, this configure.php file. Just select this file and click over here on the pencil icon. And you have several options of editors. I'm going to click this on text area. And here it is. From here, you can change the database name, anything, any code of your PHP file. And here goes several options. You can save, save and close, save as. Okay, lots of options. I'm going to click here, save and close. 
that's it and i'm going to click another file here you can see select all if you click here all the files are selected now most probably because of the theme okay dark screen okay now it is here i'm going to click here and you can see probably all the files are selected let's get back to the material theme again this looks cool i'm going to click here and here it is deselect okay probably here invert selection i have selected two files this one and except this one the all other files will be selected that means invert selection okay except this file and here you can see view if you click here you will get the details the files and folders now here you can see you can archive that means you can create a zip file i'm going to select this new folder or test folder and click here to archive this you can archive as a tar file or zip file i prefer zip file just click here and here you can see where it is here a new zip file is created okay and here you can see the view mode you can just view as a list or you can display as grid and here you can see you can sort by name size i'm going to choose by name or you can sort by kind what's the kind of the file you can sort click here and sort by date okay fantastic name is good and here you can see about this software and here you can see another interesting icon if i click on here it will be full screen i think i should click over there before okay so that's all here you can see source option you can search file file name volume etc and okay that's all you can navigate to any folder any file whenever you want and get back get back okay click here to get to the root directory so friends we are almost done of file managers options now let's see what we can get in the settings area just click on settings okay here you can see settings and here we have several good options select user role to access this area okay uh, say for example you are running a blog website you have writers you have authors you have editors so if these functions is open for everybody then they can mess over here so you can just allow these settings to administrator that's by default and you can also allow it to editor okay then if i check editor then editor will get this access of this program okay now here you can see root path you can just define the root path by default it goes here but if you want just uh, they will get this directory wp content okay anybody just log into their website they will get only wp content okay just i'm going to type wp content or contents or content okay and here goes maximum upload size 100 megabyte and english you can hide dot stxs file you can enable trash and then it will be go to the trash hit save now here you can see user role restriction let's see what here and here you can see if the role is editor or anything say for example we selected editor let's select author and go to here hit save changes and click over here and here you can see author or editor what the author or editor will get and you can disable some uh, command for editor just mkdr they cannot make directory mk file they cannot create file or they cannot rename okay so pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory i hope you will just find it very easy to work with this plugin and here it is just hit save changes and now here you can see the directory for editor i'm going to click over here include path and just wp content hyphen uploads just hit save changes then it means the editor will only 
will be able to access WP uploads folder here. Uploads. Okay, I'm going to just get out of this user, just log out. And I have an editor who is emu and just log in. Hit login. Okay, here I am as an editor emu and I'm going to click over file manager. Now, here you can see this editor can access only the uploads folder. Okay, no WP content, no theme, plugins, nothing. So it is very fantastic. Just you can assign any folder, any file to any specific user role. That's all. So friends, I think now you are clear about this plugin, Filester, File Manager Pro, and you will find it very easy. If this video helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more videos on web technologies. I would like to see you again in a new video. Thank you.